And then for one thing, it's like the nail polish is going to be on all 10 fingers, so it's like one finger for each drink. <laughs> I kind of realized that maybe this wasn't, you know, the best way to go when it comes to sexual assault prevention just because, well, three main reasons. The first one is that I know that it only tests for certain drugs. What people don't really know is that alcohol is the number one date rape drug that is used for sexual assault and rape. And also, I feel like another problem with this is that um, with sexual assault, it's not just a women's issue. According to what's been reported, one out of every six males are sexually assaulted by the age of 18. So if women have this nail polish to protect themselves, then what do males have? And in Project Date, we emphasize the issue of male victims very, very heavily. I think it would be better if it was like a clear nail polish so that guys could wear it too. It's like saying that it only happens to women. So if it was like clear, I think like there's already guys who like get manis, you know? Yeah. So it's like, but if it's clear, I think that would be fu that'd be better. That As opposed idea. to if it was an actually like colored nail polish. Yeah. That's a good idea. If we're going to protect people from sexual assault, then we should have something that can protect both genders, not just women. And the third and last reason why I feel like this is kind of, you know, counterintuitive to everything that we work for, having this nail polish puts the blame or the responsibility on the victim and not the perpetrator. The onus of sexual assaults is not on um, the victims, but rather uh, on the perpetrators. I think that the idea is great, you know, more self-defense, but it is the idea where that it's the victim blaming in a, in a way because it kind of teaches the, you know, protect yourself from rape rather than yeah. don't rape. Um, there, there needs to be something in place to help them uh, to prevent the, the violence in the first place. I do not think that it is only the victims who need to be worrying about this issue. With this nail polish, I feel like it's kind of adding on to that whole victim blaming, you know, kind of concept because with the nail polish, what it's saying is that as victims, we have to take care of ourselves and it's our responsibility to protect ourselves. I mean, it's just a nice direction that they're going to. I mean, these are college students who are mm -hmm. doing something right. to protect because we know that when these things do happen, majority of times, you know, our college students who get affected by it. And so to see that some people, especially guys who are coming up with something to help others is you know, a nice idea, and this is just like, you know, an experimental stage where they're just like trying it out, see if it works, and with that idea, other people will get more ideas, and then we'll come up with different things. But any strategies we can use to defray sexual violence, I'm all for it. The more things we have, the more we can reduce the risk, possibly. Yeah, and you never know who it's gonna, who's gonna rape you. It have the person um, plan, can plan it like five minutes beforehand, or an hour beforehand or whatnot, but you never really know who it is, so it's protecting the victim right now.